Um, hello everybody, and uh, today I'm going to show you Transformers G1, the old G1, not a reissue, because it's never got a reissue. Um, Scourge, incomplete with nothing, no accessory, but I still really like it. Um, very soon I'll get the uh, Cyclonus G1 Cyclonus, and I'll have the, the trio um, all here, so very cool. Um, really nice figure, you know. It looks good, but the articulation sucks. Yeah. Uh. Uh. So yeah. Um, if you want to recreate that scene where um, Scourge go mad with the Matrix, you can you just take it out and shove it in his. <sighs> you can't really do it. No, it works best that way. So yeah, and be all crazy and stuff. Uh, but that's, that's, uh, so yeah, let's get into the transformation, because I have no accessory with, of this guy. It's a straight G1, so very simple to transform. Um, so it's a flying coffin. It really looks like a coffin to me. Yeah, come on. It, it looks like a coven. You cannot blame anyone. It does look like a coven. <sighs> With the head, a zombie. Come on. Yeah, it looks kind of weird, but it. I think it is supposed to be some hoovering bullet or something, but it looks kind of ridiculous. The stickers, of course, is jacked up, because come on. 20, 30 years, what do you expect? Rub sign, don't work for shit. Um, the Decepticon logo, Decepticon logo, blah blah blah, invisible thigh, not a big deal, you cannot really spot them out. So let's transform him back into his robot mode. Oh, sorry about that. Wrong, wrong position. Should be like, ah oh, crap. Lack of articulation, it makes it so hard to transform. Yeah, <laughs> because you don't have you no know, without articulation, it does not have any space to do anything, which is really a damn shame. And uh, so there is Scourge. See you at the next review.